Hello, I'm Frank Petrie. Welcome to this week's What the Frank. Um, this past Wednesday, of course, was the Apple event at Cupertino. And I want to talk about it. There were three main things as I saw. First, of course, was the uh, little sneak peek at Lion 10.7. And uh, I, I really enjoyed that. I really like the way they've redone the... Um, Finder so it replicates both the iPhone, the iPod, well, I shouldn't say both, the iPhone, the iPod Touch, and the iPad. You already know that style. So to move it over to the internet, make, I mean, uh, to your laptop or your desktop, makes great sense. Uh, particularly if you go out and you buy one of those big, big ass trackpads, it, it, the experience is going to be common all over the place, which is great. Um,. Second was the announcement of iWorks 11. And I think I speak for a lot of people. Uh, there were some nice things they did with iPhoto, but they, they, were, they were major upgrades. But I know I speak for a lot of people when I say that as far as iWeb, I was very, 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 very... Very, 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 quite, very, 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 very disappointed. They did nothing. I mean, you, you, there's, there's a great argument going on we're having in the forums. Well, I shouldn't say arguments, more of a discussion. There's a debate. Is some people think that when they open the App Store, that there's going to be this Uber iWeb that you'll be able to get. But Jobs said that store wouldn't be open up to eh, somewhere within 90 days. Well, the problem with that is the holiday season is here. If I'm going to buy software for somebody that wants to do entry-level WYSIWYG, the old iWeb, it, it doesn't interest me. I can get Rapid Weaver after $29.99 on all these sales they've been having at Mac Heist and stuff, or these other bundles, and it's done tons of more stuff. So, uh... I was very, very disappointed in iWeb. Although, uh, to be honest, I'm doing this broadcast on iWeb 09. Uh, the third thing, what was the third thing they did? Oh, yes. MacBook Air. I couldn't have been further off. Um, I thought they would put the iPad screen there. I thought that would be good, but I thought they would replace the actual physical keyboard with another pad. Although, financially looking at it, the more I think about it, probably was cost prohibitive, at least at this point. Um, so there, once again, I would I would just get my, you know, once I got 10.7, I would just get my big ass trackpad and, uh, what was that, 49 bucks, 55 bucks, something like that. And I would use that with that, and I would have the same motions, the same gestures. I can switch all over the place. Um, I would like, I would have liked to have heard uh, what the situation is with Final Cut Express. I do my main work on Final Cut Express. It's a hell of a lot cheaper than Final Cut Studio. Uh, and there's a lot of us that use it. I mean, I... I'm not going to be doing a Hollywood production. I'm not really doing industrials nowadays. I'm doing this kind of crap. No insult, please. I didn't mean to offend you. Um, but it, it's not necessary for me to have all that other stuff and all that compression stuff. And because I do uh, hardware reviews and software reviews, I have software that's that was given to me to review that I got to keep. So I already have uh, Sorensen Squeeze. So I really don't need compressor and all that crap. I just need Final Cut Express. It'll do exactly what I want it to do. But they haven't announced where they're going to keep making it. They haven't announced if it's going to go. If they do make it, it's going to go to 64-bit, which I really, really want. Uh, a MacBook Air with a solid-state drive running a 64-bit Final Cut Express while I'm encoding and squeeze would be a dream. Get me a box of Kleenex. What can I tell you? I'm sorry. I know that was a rude remark, but 
there you are. I don't get paid for this. I'll do as I damn well please. So, uh, in general, I don't know, I think it was sort of like the first first Apple event I came away from without feeling like, uh, oh my god, the world has changed. Although, Steve removing the uh, optical drive, I think, was a big thing. Uh, a little perplexed that the USBs were there, but the more I thought about it, the only reason I can think for those USBs to be there, because HP's already making Bluetooth printers to work with the iPad, so you know it's going to work with this. The only thing I can think of for USB printers is the... Um, sorry about that. I uh, ran out of power on the iPhone 4. Uh, so anyway, yeah, we, I was talking about the USB uh, inputs. And the only reason I can see that they exist, other than legacy products, is that's still the only way you can sync your iPhone, uh, your iPods, or your iPad to your main machine. Uh, why they haven't switched that to Wi-Fi yet is still a mystery. Uh, so, in general, I was not enthusiastic. Uh, I know that somewhere along the line, there's stuff they're going to do that that's going to tie all this together. But I need to know, as most of you do, you need to know what's going to be happening so you can make your plans accordingly so you don't go out and buy some other crap and three weeks later they come out with something. Anyhow, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Uh, if you have any you know, opinions on this, chime in on the uh, boards in the forums. I think on boards. So anyhow, have a great weekend. Download, double-click. Drop out.